As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? That... that can't be. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Not yet, I'm afraid. But my expectations are very, very high. You know, I was just thinking about you. Remembering our little encounter in the night. <laughs> you can rest easy. I don't intend a repeat performance. Although I do wonder how the others might taste. <laughs> Not that anyone's volunteered. It's just an idle fancy. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined, like well-aged brandy. But the gif? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Yes. Heaven forbid we have an interesting conversation. Still, I am intrigued by the possibilities. <laughs> no one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. So... In the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? A brave choice. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. <laughs> Don't tempt me, darling. Ugh. <sighs> 
Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> Without a mechanic, you might need to get used to a slowly overheating tiefling at your flank. Well, I imagine it's lights out, Big K. And then it'll be just you, your parasite, and the wild yonder. I'm sure you'd manage. But this old girl's got a few things to do before it comes to that. Soldier. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals, and sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe... Just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? How can I help? Yes, Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. 
to be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more, an event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the Weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus, not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I try to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. something. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought it, it sounds awful. I'm listening. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Your parasite is unusual. 
It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Because I am just like you, and I need an ally. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. No, I can handle this, for now. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. But you won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. 
It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. Hmm. On the one hand, you're right. On the other, don't be so wet behind the ears. Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the Absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. This source she referred to and the heart of the Absolute might be one and the same. I've no wish to cast any aspersions on our existing skill set, of course, but given the perilous direction in which our journey is headed, the Tadpole's powers might be a welcome addition to our arsenal. Your confidence in our existing capabilities is quite rousing, though. Perhaps that spirited enthusiasm will be strength enough to subdue the cult when the time comes. With pleasure. Lead on.
wasn't a bullet, was it? Broken bone. Must have fallen. No time for mercy. Center in. Mercenaries and cutthroats. Useful friends, if you can afford them.
of holding. in here a nasty surprise caution is wanted here
doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. to cause confusion. Best not get too close. Camp. Looks a 
abandoned. Got someone sneaking up on us. What's this? Got ourselves an infiltrator. You move pretty quietly. Not quietly enough for my liking, though. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Get rid of this one, the sooner I can get back to doing the Absolute's work. Fine. I'll let you live. But spoil my hunt, and you're dead. Shit! Yeah. You really are in the wrong place, son scum. Try this for useful. Falling down a deep, dark hole is the kindest death you'll find in the Underdark. Didn't say you could leave, did I? Another step and you'll get a kiss off my axe. Shut up and listen. I'm on a hunt. Got a runaway slave to kill. Need to fetch back the boot she stole from Sergeant Thryn. Sergeant told me to. Besides, we're talking about a slave. Help? You don't even know what you'd be up against. Slaves got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rock flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Good. Do well, and there might be a reward for you back at camp. Do really well, and who knows? Maybe the Absolute will have space for you in her ranks. But that comes later. Boots first, then you'll get what's coming to you. She's with the rest of our expedition across the lake. Special mission for the Absolute. Deep gnome slave. They all look the same. But this one's got fancy boots. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Indeed.
slim waters this dark. What are you playing at? Where you've looked. Now keep away from that raft until I say otherwise. Leather. I ain't wasting more words on you until it's done. will be taken in turn. A fair exchange, perhaps. Worth examining.
Reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah, mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her? My lady Shah is the night singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness, they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked beyond the vanities of mortals. There's comfort, yes. But often there has to be pain beforehand. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols. Topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company.
anything of use? A better position. I am fury. I am death. What lies within? Shall be done. I got this. Covered. Need to stay focused. Flowers. What is this feeling? You picked the wrong fight, friend. I've never seen a tree like that. The bark must be a rarity.
Krieger for battle. One true way. I wonder what the next move is. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. All right. Death won't take me yet. <laughs> <laughs> 